Hello, it's Marco here with another UV Pack Master tutorial, and I'm going to present the next advanced functionality of the packer, the lock overlapping. Now, this is going to be the UV map that we're going to be playing with for this tutorial, so uh, let's get into it, eh? Now, the lock overlapping functionality is available, well, on the lock overlapping, which showed before, and to, uh, to enable it, lock overlapping. Well done. Now, when the functionality is enabled, it makes the packer lock overlapping islands. Now I'll show you what I mean in a sec, but it kind of like keeps the relative position of the islands locked together and it'll maintain it during the packing. Okay, now there's two modes, there's any part and exact. So let's just talk about any part first. So in this mode, the islands are locked together as soon as any part of them overlap. All right, so let me show you. I'm gonna like grab this piece here and then I'm just gonna make them overlap kind of like these two, so we've got this. Then I'm gonna grab this one here and we'll move it up over to that one. Okay, so now we've got overlapping islands. So let's select everything and then over to pack. And there we go. Now you can see here, these islands have overlapped and that's how they've been packed. So we've got these three islands and we've got these two islands, all right? So you can clearly see how we've locked overlapping, hence the name, lock overlapping. And so if I just quickly, I'll show you, just make sure we select these two, control L, you can see how these ones are overlapping and also these ones here are overlapping. Now I kind of just really wanted to point that out. And now I'm just gonna undo, there we go. And we're gonna change the locking overlapping mode from any part to exact. Now the exact mode is more picky in deciding whether the island should be locked together. Now in this mode, two islands are locked together only if they cover the exact same space in the UV area. Now by that I mean they will have the same shape and have to be placed on top of each other. Let's have a look at these two because these two pieces are exactly the same. So I'm gonna select both of them. Now this is a really cool feature of UV Packmaster which we've covered previously, but if you've got multiple UV meshes that are the same, we can come up into single tile packing, align tools, align similar, so to stack, and now you can see they're sitting on top of each other. Oh my goodness, so simple. Oh, by the way, some time ago, I recorded a separate tutorial which covers all the stacking functionalities of the packer. Now you'll find a link in the description for that one. Anyway, back into single tile and we've got the exact mode enabled. Let's select everything and go pack. And now you can see how the stacked islands were not split during packing. So if I kind of just uh, select one, control L, and then we'll just move it out of the way. They're on top of each other, brilliant. But I don't know if you noticed something else as well. The other pieces that we had, we left them overlapped, but down here, they're separated. So the exact mode is really picky. Now that's kind of like all I wanted to show you for this short tutorial, but at the very end, let me give you an interesting hint, okay? In recent versions of UV Packmaster, a functionality was added, which automates the workflow I've just shown you, okay? So stacking similar islands before packing, and then packing the stacked islands together as a single island, you can all do that thing automatically using the stacked groups panel. But uh, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any tutorials about all this interesting stuff in the future, okay? So thank you for watching, bye-bye. Oh,